Thank you for tuning in to Relationship Lounge, Reveal and Heal. My name is Coach Deb. Today we're going to talk about human trafficking versus human smuggling and also a little bit on the organ harvesting trafficking as well. It's an alarming situation right now. We're all talking about it. Of course, when you go on uh, social media, you cannot blink an eye without seeing there's a missing child, there's a missing woman, missing people. Uh, so let's talk about it. Let's just have a conversation. You know, I just want to let you guys know I've been doing some research on this thing. I never paid much attention before because I know that this is really not new. I've often been told that whenever something comes to surface or when something is exposed, it's only because it's been going on for a while. And because we are being made aware of it, doesn't change the fact that it have that, that it's actually been going on for a very, very long time. So let's just move forward. I just want to uh, share with you, uh, based off of my research, the definition of trafficking uh, in person. Uh, also, I want to give you some stats so that you have something uh, to work with. The definition of trafficking in persons with an S. The Trafficking Victims Protection Act of 2000, TVPA as amended, 22 U.S.C. 7102, defines severe forms of trafficking in persons as sex trafficking, the recruitment, harboring, transportation, provision, obtaining, patronizing, or soliciting of a person for the purpose of a commercial sex act, in which the commercial sex act is induced by force, fraud, or coercion, or in which the person induced to perform such act has not attained 18 years of age. Now, also, the labor trafficking, the recruitment harboring, transportation provision or obtaining of a person for labor services through the use of force, fraud, or coercion for the purpose of subjection to the involuntary servitude, penage, penage, debt, bondage, or slavery. Now, based of, off of my research, human trafficking is a public health issue that, uh, of course, impacts individuals, families, and communities. We both, we all know of someone, um, either by way of a friend or a family member, or just, you know, recognizing uh, the news, someone that we're familiar with, or we pretty much feel like we know because of reading and noticing the, the, the news about uh, particular ones. Traffickers, of course, they target at-risk populations, including individuals who have experienced or been exposed to other forms of violence, such as child abuse and male treatment, uh, of course, interpersonal violence and sexual assault, communities and gang violence, such as uh, those individuals that are disconnected from stable support networks, such as runaways and homeless youth, unaccompanied minors, persons, displaced during natural disaster. These are the target individuals. Now, regarding the organ trafficking, of course, that is an unseen form of human trafficking. And did you know it's a low supply, but it's in high demand? So what we should be determined to do is look out for one another. All eyes on deck, as my kids would say, in order that we're able to look out for one another. Let's just go into the human trafficking versus the human smuggling. Now, for human trafficking, uh, the victims, of course, are forced, defrauded, or coerced into trafficking. Even if victims initially offer consent, that consent is rendered meanless, meaninglessly by the actions of the traffickers to exploit them for the labor, services, or the co uh, commercial sex. Now, the human trafficking we know is a crime committed against an individual. That is what it is. Trafficking does not need to be involved by the physical movement of a person. Trafficking victimization can be transnational or domestic. Okay, now we're going to look at the human smuggling part of it. 
uh, individuals consent to being smuggled. The transaction is mutual and ends upon arrival uh, at desired destination. Smuggling is a crime committed against a country. Smuggling involves the illegal transport of an individual across a national border. Smuggling is always transnational. Now, what I want to look at uh, from that information is how victims are trafficked. Have you ever thought about that? How does that, how, how does that happen? Well, the traffickers are forced, as I mentioned to you earlier. It's fraud. It's coercion to subject uh, victims to engage in commercial sex or forced labor. Anyone, and I mean anyone, can be a victim of trafficking anywhere, including the United States. Now, the action, just bear with me here. The action of this heinous crime beginning with recruiting. Recruiting, of course, it includes proactive targeting of vulnerability and grooming behaviors. Pay close attention to this, okay? Then you have harboring. Harboring includes isolation, confinement, monitoring. Then there's transporting, which includes movement and arranging travel. And then you have providing, which includes giving to another individual. Then it's, there's obtaining. Obtaining includes forcibly taking, exchanging something for ability to control. Soliciting. It includes offering something of value. And then finally, patronizing. Patronizing includes receiving something of value only for sex trafficking though those are the actions of the trafficker this is what they use this is their this is their style when it comes to um uh, abducting of uh, the victim now of course well what does this mean it means a force it means fraud it means coercion just to give you a little insight on the force and what it includes. Force includes physical restraint, physical harm, sexual assault, and beatings. Monitoring and confinement is often used to control victims, especially during early stages of victimization to break down the victim's resistance. And then there's fraud. Fraud includes false promises regarding employment, wages, working conditions, love, marriage, or better life. Over time, there may be unexpected changes in work conditions, compensation or debt agreements, or nature of relationship. And then finally, coercion. Coercion includes threats of, promise, of serious harm to or physical restraint against any person, psychological man manipulation, document confiscation, and shame, and fear inducing threats to share information or pictures with others or report to authorities. Now finally, the purpose. The purpose in the reasoning, if it makes any sense, as to why this crime is committed. Commercial Sex Act. It's any sex act on account of anything of value given to or received by any person. Number two, involuntary servitude. That would be purpose as well. And that's any scheme, plan, or pattern intended to cause a person to believe that if person that did not enter into or continue in such condition, that person or another person would suffer serious harm or physical restraint or the abuse or threatened abuse of the legal process. That is involuntary serv servitude. Then you got debt bondage. Pay attention. Debt bondage includes a pledge of services by the debtor or someone under debtor's control 
to pay down known or unknown charges, such as fees for transportation, boarding, food, and other incidentals. Interest fines for missing quotas or charges for bad behavior. You see, the length and nature of those services are not respectively limited and defined where an individual is trapped in a cycle of debt that he or she can never pay down. Panage. It's interesting about panage because it's a status or condition of involuntary servitude based on real or alleged indebtedness. Finally, slavery. Slavery is the state of being under the ownership or control of someone where a person is forced to work for another. Now, this heinous crime is rapid, and I want to ask you with all sincerity that if you see something suspicious, if you recognize where it just, it just don't look right, it just don't, I mean, it's better to say something than to feel like you're in someone else's business. I want to give you information for you to reach out to help whomever it is that you're concerned about. So it's help for victims of trafficking. Get help, report a tip, find services, or learn more about your options. This number for the National Human Trafficking Hotline, it provides assistance to victims in crisis through safety planning. So you can also contact this, this number or uh, the, the victims of trafficking if you suspect something. So the number, of course, to call is 1-888-373-7888. That number again for National Human Trafficking is 1-888-373-7888. And you can also text HELP, H-E-L-P, to B as in boy, E as in elephant, F as in Frank, R as in Rick, E as in elephant, E as in elephant. And those numbers is 233733. You can also email help at human trafficking hotline.org. Again, that's email help at human trafficking hotline.org. And you can also visit the website, which is www.humantraffickinghotline.org. Start with loving yourself and then love everybody and be an example. I'm Coach Deb. Thank you so much for tuning in to Relationship Lounge, Reveal and Heal.